let's get back to killing. I mean, sparing. Let's get back to sparing. Uh, welcome. Thank you for the hydrate, Sim. Got my child shirt on. <laughs> My, ch my children shirt. <laughs> Shit's loud. Alright, this is part two of Undertale, man. So we got, uh, I think, a little bit in. I don't know how how much or how not far. We got to Snowden. Two hours in. Oh, on the wrong window. One second. All right, we can go see uh, Papyrus might be in his house now. Um, go check it out. Move my mouse real quick. I don't think we can talk. We talked to everybody else. I don't know what else uh, to do here. Wonder if we could get... Uh, Grillbees wouldn't serve me any food, so... I don't think that's an option. Is that fishing pole up here or is that somewhere else? What was up here? The snowman, right? No man's gone. The old rocks. This is a cool little... You can see him throw this ice in there, and then later you see the ice cube. Uh, so nothing up here, I don't think. And this person likes when we knock, but they won't open the door. What's up, Papyrus? So you came back to have a date with me? You must be really serious about this. I'll have to take you someplace really nice. Oh, special, excuse me. A place I like to spend a lot of time. Why not? What? Where is he taking us? My house! <laughs> okay. Take him to his house. Oh, fuck yeah, bro. Snails? This is my brother's pet rock. He always forgets to feed it. As usual, I have to take responsibility. The rock is covered in sprinkles. This. It's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Fans, please pick up your sock. Okay. Don't put it back down. Move it. Okay. You moved it two inches. Move it to your room. Okay. And don't bring it back. Okay. It's still here. Didn't you just say not to bring it back to my room? <laughs> Forget it. Alright, what's in the kitchen? That's the trash can. Feel free to visit it any time. I will. My brother always goes out to eat, but recently he tried baking something. It was like a uh, quince, but filled with sugary, with a sugary non-egg substance. How absurd. Impressed? I increased the height of my sink. <laughs> now I can fit more bones under it. Take a look, see. Aw, there's a puppy in there. What? Catch that meddling canine. Curses. Thanks, Sans. Stop plaguing my life with incidental music. <clears throat> Aha! Interested in my food museum? Please per peruse my culinary art show. Half of the fridge is filled with containers all labeled spaghetti. The other half contains nothing but an empty bag of chips. Perfect. Oh, it's my favorite game show. It says, stay tuned for a new program. MTT. What? It's usually better than this. This is just a bad episode. Don't judge me. It's a joke book. Take a look inside. Yes. Inside the joke book was a quantum physics book. Ha! <laughs> you look inside. Inside the quantum physics books was another joke book. You look inside. There's another quantum physics book. You decide to stop. Is quantum physics a joke to, to, to Papyrus? That's my room. You finish looking around, you could go in and do whatever people do when they date. Go inside? Uh, let's wait. <laughs> a classical image. It always reminds me of what's important in life. Bonin. Door's locked. I guess we're gonna go to his room. Yes. Fucking car bed, let's go. Hey, those are all attacks I used on you. 
Great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday, even though it basically just happened. It was yesterday for me. The internet, I'm quite popular there. Just a dozen away. From a double digit follower count. Of course, fame has a steep price. A jealous troll has besieged my online persona. Always sending me bad puns in a goofy font. Undertale cosplay. The striped shirt. Ugh. What's up, Strawberry? The computer's internet browser is open to a social media site. That, bo that book's one of my favorites. Advanced puzzle construction for critical minds. Uh, next book's one of my another one of my favorites. Peekaboo with Fluffy Bunny. Ending always gets me. Some action figures? Yes, action figures. A great reference for theoretical battle scenarios. How do I have so many? Well, just say they're from a chubby, smiling man who loves to surprise people. Yeah, that's right. Santa! <laughs> that's my bed! If I ever get to the surface, I'd like to drive down a long highway. Wind in my hair, sun on my skin, of course, that's just a dream. Because he doesn't have any fucking skin. So instead I cruise while I snooze. Hey. Isn't that flag neato? Undyne found it at the bay. I think it's from the human world. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why would a human flag have a cool skeleton on it? Well, I have a theory. I think humans must have descended from skeletons. <laughs> Okay. What's in here? There are no skeletons inside my closet, except me if sometimes. Look in the closet? Yes. Clothes are hung up neatly inside. Alright, cool. Uh, should we kiss or something? So, uh, if you've seen everything, you want to start the date? Begin the date, yes. Okay, dating start. Oh shit. Dating start. Here we are, on our date. You gonna fucking fight me? I've actually never done this before, but don't worry. You can't spell prepare without several letters from my name. <laughs> I snagged an official dating rule book from the library. We are ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step one, press the C key on the keyboard for dating HUD. <laughs> Wowie, I feel so informed. Crime, egg, population, reel it in. Thursday? We got a radar? A dog radar? I think we're ready for step two. Step two, ask them on a date. Ahem. Human, I, the Great Papyrus, will go on a date with you. Will you go on a date with me? Really? Wowie. Guess that means it's time for part three. Step three, put on nice clothes to show you care. Wait a second. Wear clothing? That ribbon in your hair? You're wearing clothing right now! Not only that, earlier today, you were also wearing clothing. Third base already, damn. Moving fast. No, could it be? You have wanted to date me from the very beginning? Yes. Oh my god, overload. No, you planned it all. You're way better at dating than I am. No, your dating power. Yeah. <laughs> Don't think you've bested me yet. Tension. The Great Papyrus have never been beaten at, at dating. I never will. I can easily keep up with you. You see... I too can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes. <laughs> Underwear? Just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date. Behold. Oh hell yeah, cool dude! What do you think of my style? I love it. No! A genuine compliment. Get his backwards hat and his jersey and his shoulder blades. However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid. This date won't escalate any further, unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. Holding my hand so I'll tell you the answer? No, I must resist. I see, I see. You like caressing my biceps with a floating heart. Who doesn't? My hat? 
My hat, my hat. Ah, well then, you found my secret. It's a present? Suppose I have no choice. It's a present. Present just for you. Uh, open it. Don't you know what this is? It's spaghetti, right? Spaghetti! <laughs> That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Right? But oh, so wrong. This ain't any plain old spaghetti. Oh, pasta. This is an artisan's work. Silken spaghetti, finely aged in an oaken cask. Then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. Human, it's time to end this. There's no way this can go any further. Eat it. You take a small bite. Your face reflexively crunch crunches up. Uh-oh. The taste is indescribable. What a passion expression. You must really love my cooking. And, by extension, me. Maybe even more than I do. Ah! Ah! Oh! Date power. Just, it keeps going. Human, it's clear now. You're madly in love with me. Everything you do, everything you say, <laughs> it's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. Time that I told you, I, Papyrus. I. Uh, boy, this is, is it hot in here, or is it just me? Oh, shoot. Human, I, I'm sorry, I don't like you the way you like me. Romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought that because you flirted with me, that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then, on the date, feelings would blossom forth. Be able to match your passion for me. But alas, I, the great Papyrus, have failed. I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you, I've only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me. Dark prison of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No, wait, that's wrong. I can't fail at anything. Human, I'll help you through these trying times. I'll keep being your cool friend, cool dude, and act like this all never happened. After all, you are very great. It would be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you, because I don't even have lips. <laughs> and hey, someday you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for second best. <laughs> He's back. Oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me anytime. Platonically. Well, gotta go. Hmm, interesting. He just leaves us alone in his house. We have his phone number. I wonder if we can, like, summon him or something? Snowden, home of Papyrus. That's the slogan, right? Let's go look for, uh, let's go get that fishing rod. See if there's anything we can do with that. Otherwise, we're gonna leave town. I don't want to do that again. Maybe I should buy something from the shop. This long ass bridge. Oh, you want to fight on the bridge? Oh my, what the fuck? Got a bird? An ice cap? Uh, Jerry? <laughs> uh, I forgot what button to push. Snow! No, it's a hat! Guys, it's, it's, cold. it's cold, does anyone care? Well, that's fine. Envious, too bad. Why are we doing this? What a fail. My fave ice cereal. Easily. It smells like a wet pillow. I'm thinking, guys. What's up, Jerry? Ditch. You and the other monsters ditch Jerry when it looks away. Aww. I might just kill this bird. Smiling at its own bad joke. Better not snowflake out.
Later, dude. Oh, well, you guys suck at this. I'm not sparing him. Bye bye. The Wi Fi here sucks. Return of Jerry. Ditch. Yeah. Your love increased after kicking the snowdrake's butt. Where is that pond at? Wait, was it back here? I don't remember. Probably not up here in the mountains, right? Oh, almost one shot, you kid. Bull crap. Jerry lets out a yawn. Bye, dude. Tired of your shenanigans. Smells like... Yeah. I was thinking if we kill some of these low-level creatures, uh, we can get our love up higher. Oh, let's take this fast travel. Let's uh, let's leave town. Unless there's something in the shop I should buy. I think we've got we got quite a bit of money. Hold on, let me look at the shop real quick. We could also sleep at the inn. Bye. So it's it's actually better to. It's cheaper just to buy the cinnamon bun. Right? And the same HP. Okay. Let's check out- I don't think we went in the end, did we? Welcome to Snowed Inn. Ha, ah, Snowed Inn's premier hotel. One night is 80 gold. Oh my god! They're better. What do I get for. Mom says that sleeping can recover your health above your maximum HP. What's maximum HP? Interesting. 80 gold for a full heal? It's locked from the inside. We're on to something now. Oh, this is a cool little place. Yo, are you sneaking out to see her too? Awesome, she's the coolest, right? I want to be just like her when I grow up. Hey, don't tell my parents I'm here. Haha. -ha. This is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and over. This is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and over again. The sound of rushing water fills you with determination. What's up, Sans? What? Haven't you seen a guy with two jobs before? Fortunately, two jobs means twice as many legally required breaks. <laughs> I'm going to Grillby's. Want to come? Yeah, sure. Well, if you insist, I'll pry myself away from my work. Over here, I know a shortcut. A fast shortcut, huh? Hey, everyone. Hey, Sans. Hi, Sans. Greetings, Sans. Hi, Sansy. Hey, Sans, weren't you just here for breakfast a few minutes ago? <laughs> nah, I haven't had breakfast in at least half an hour. You must be thinking of brunch. Haha. <laughs> Everyone's laughing. Here, get comfy. I'm standing on the stool. Whoops, watch where you sit down. Sometimes weirdos put whoopee cushions on the seats. Anyway, let's order. 
What do you want? Fries or a burger? Do a burger, man. Hey, that sounds pretty good. Groby, we'll have a double order of burg. Start, start calling burgers burgs. Give me some glizzies. So, what do you think of my brother? Cool. Of course he's cool. You'd be cool too if you were wore that outfit every day. He'd only take that thing off if he absolutely had to. Oh well. At least he washes it. And by that I mean he wears it in the shower. <laughs> Thanks for the burger. Here comes the grub. Want some ketchup? Uh, no. More for me. He drank the ketchup. Scratched his butt. Anyway, cool or not, you have to agree Papyrus tries real hard. Like how he keeps trying to be part of the Royal Guard. One day, he went to the house of the head of the Royal Guard and begged her to let him be in it. Of course, she shut the door on him because it was midnight. <laughs> the next day, she woke up and saw him still waiting there. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him a warrior train. Give him warrior training. It's uh, still a work in progress. Oh yeah, I wanted to ask you something. Have you ever heard of a talking flower? Yes. So you know all about it. The echo flower. They're all over the marsh. Say something to them and they'll repeat it over and over. What about it? Well, Papyrus told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes when no one else is around, a flower appears and whispers things to him. Flattery, advice, encouragement. Predictions. Weird, huh? Someone must be using an echo flower to play a trick on him. Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. Well, that was a long break. I can't believe I let you pull me away from work for that long. Oh, by the way, I'm flat broke. Can you foot the bill? It's just, oh my god, a thousand? Ten thousand? What if I put yes? Just kidding. Real B, put it on my tab. By the way, I was going to say something, but I forgot. Son of a bitch. Can I eat this? Alright. Well, that's cool. Uh, let's go to the shortcut. What you saying? This town doesn't have a mayor, but if there's ever a problem, a skeleton will tell a fish lady about it. That's politics. We read that yesterday. This bunny has a pet bunny. Let's go find that echo flower they're talking about. Woo! <sighs> Nobody wants to fight us here? All that gives my life validation is explain the echo flower. No one can know. Never trust a flower. That's one of the constants of this world. Hey, what's back here? I can't go back there. Let's hang out again sometime. This is a box. You can put an item in it or take an item out. Why would you, though? You can't use items when they're in the box. Sincerely, a box hater. Frickin' box hater. I swore I saw something behind that rushing water. Huh? There's a camera behind the waterfall. That it? How do I go to there? Whoa! Oh my god! This... this is a pet rock? There's a tutu lying on the ground here. Will you take it? Yeah, I'll take it. I'll take a tutu. You got the old tutu. Darkness. What the fuck? Ah, hi, Undyne. 
I'm here with my daily report. Uh, regarding that human I called you about earlier. Huh? Did I fight them? Yes, of course I did. I fought them valiantly. What, did I capture them? Well, no. Tried very hard, Undyne, but in the end, I failed. What? You're going to take the human soul yourself? A true valiant? <laughs> but Undyne, you don't have to destroy them. You see... You see... Ellipses, I understand. I'll help you in any way I can. What's up, Cade? Welcome. No! He didn't see us. I'm in a bush! What is that? Okay. Later. <laughs> Who? <Ooh>, what? <laughs> Yo, did you see that way she was staring at you? That was awesome. I'm so jealous. What'd you do to get her attention? Haha. -ha. Come on, let's go watch her beat up some bad guys. <laughs> Are you okay? All right. A feeling of dread hangs over you, but you stay determined. Okay. This. When four bridge seeds align in the water, they will sprout. What? Okay. Man, I'm good at puzzles. Sub Epic, hope you're keeping it determined. I am keeping it very determined. Hey, let's go. What is this? The hole in the wall. I can't read that sign. What is this? Aaron flexes in. Flex. You flex. Aaron flexes twice as hard. Attacks increase for you too. Flexing contest. Okay, flex more. Aaron is ready for your next flex. Flex. You flex harder. Aaron flex thrice as hard. Attack increases for you too. Nice, I won't lose though. Oh my god. Oh my god. Aaron is ready for your next flex. I'm about to beat your ass. You flex. Aaron flexes very hard. He flexes himself out of the room. You won. Give me them golds. Is it not complete? Hmm. If an error is made, the Bell Blossom can call Bridge Seeds back to where they started. Music's getting intense.
sprout! You need to sprout! Okay. Darn. Hmm. Does it matter where I, I guess it matters where I put them? Sprout! Just trying random stuff right now. I don't know what to do. Okay. Cool. Did I need to connect it to the waterfall? Hello, this is Papyrus. How did I get this number? It was easy. I just dialed every number sequentially until I got yours. <laughs> a lot of numbers. So, what are you wearing? I'm asking for a friend. She thought she saw you wearing a faded ribbon. Is that true? Are you wearing a faded ribbon? What will you say? Yes. So you are wearing a faded ribbon. Got it. Wink, wink. Have a nice day. Click. A long time ago, monsters would whisper their wishes to the stars in the sky. If you hope with all your heart, your wish would come true. Now, all we have are these sparkling stones on the ceiling. Aw. Wishing room. Thousands of people wishing together can't be wrong. The king will prove that. Come on, sis, make a wish. Tack. Washua? <laughs> Washua? Okay. I like he's got a duck for a brain or something. Um, clean. You ask Washua to clean you. It hops around excitedly. Green means clean. Oh my god, I'm not ready. Ooh. Washua is friends with the little bird. You won, and earned 25 gold. I wish my sister and I will see the, re the real stars someday. Look through the telescope? Yes. Check wall. 
Which wall? Up. Up, check wall. Uh, seems my horoscope is the same as last week's. Check wall. Oh my gosh. Ancient writing covers the walls. You can just make out the words, the war of humans and monsters. Why did the humans attack? Indeed, it seemed they, they had nothing to fear. Humans are unbelievably strong. It would take the soul of nearly every monster just to equal the power of a single human soul. But humans have one weakness. Ironically, it is the strength of their soul. Powers, the power allows it to persist outside the human body, even after death. If a monster defeats a human, they can take its soul. Monster of the human soul, horrible beast with unfathomable power. It's an illustration of a strange creature. There's something very unsettling about this drawing. Where are we going? Okay. My health isn't full, by the way. Gotta stay determined, guys. Holy shit, that was close. The Jukes! Like, how do you know where I'm at? Didn't they- didn't that guy want to watch this person kick bad guys' butts? Aww! Aww! Why would you kill that thing? Or punch it, whatever you did to it. What? It's, he punched it? It's alive. Yo, did you see that? Undyne just touched me. <laughs> I'm never washing my face ever again. Man, are you unlucky. You were standing just a little bit to the left. <laughs> Yo, don't worry. I'm sure we'll see her again. Oh, oh, you okay? Okay. So this cheese has been here so long, a magical crystal has grown around it. It's stuck to the table. Squeak. Aw. Did I ruin that? Would it have said something else? Knowing the mouse might one day extract the cheese from the mystical crystal, it fills you with determination. What's up, Sans? It's an odd-looking telescope. What's up, dude? I'm thinking about getting into the telescope business. It's normally 50,000 G to use this premium telescope. It would have said something else, but it's not that big of a deal. Okay. But, since I know you, you can use it for free! How's about it? Use the telescope? Fuck yeah. Why am I looking at the wall? This is perfect, Sans. This is perfect. Thank you. Do I need to talk to you? Huh? You aren't satisfied? Don't worry. I'll give you a full refund. What are you doing, Onion? What's a star? Can you touch it? Can you eat it? Can you kill it? Are you a star? Look at your face. <laughs> Alright. Hey. Alright. He doesn't care. Here. Oh, you got glizzies for sale? I relocated my store, but there are still no customers. Fortunately, I've thought of solution. Of a solution. Punch cards. Every time you buy an ice cream, you can take a punch card from the box. If you have three cards, you can trade them for a free ice cream. Be sure to get the customers to come back. Buy glizzies? Yeah. It's frozen treat that warms your heart. 25. How much was it before? Super, here you go. Your card's in the box. 
The box contains one card. Pick card. You got a punch card. The ancient glyphs have been painted over with a list of 21 different flavors. <laughs> Jesus fucking Baskin Robbins. <laughs> Dude fucking painted over ancient. Oh man. He's the box. Yeah. What's this tutu do? Armor? Oh, okay. Well, Tutu, armor defense 10. Finally, a protected piece of armor. So when I use items, is it temporary or is it forever? You know? Is it forever? It's forever? Pretty sure you have equipment. Nice. You equip the old Tutu. Well then, can I equip the, uh, the slap glove? Manly bada bandana? Manly bandana, armor defense 7. It has seen some wear. It has abs drawn on it. Oh, I took the fi oh, so you, you remove something and then you can put something else on. You only get one? Armor defense three. If you're cuter, monsters won't hit you as hard. What was the other one? We have the two two on. One armor, one weapon. Oh, okay. Defense seven. What are we? What, the gems on the southern wall shine in a particular pattern. It's a nice thing you can see the southern wall from this angle. Can I? <laughs> Hang on. You equipped manly bandana. Oh, this has 10. Let's use the 10. Okay. Does my box run out of room? Tough glove, weapon attack 5. A worn pink leather glove for five-fingered folk. You equip tough glove. Stick, weapon at zero. The bark is worse than this bite. Ah, 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 ah. There's a limit on the box, man? No fair. All right. We got a manly glove, or we got a tough glove, and we got uh, a tutu. Where's this pattern I'm supposed to see? You hear a passing conversation, so don't you have any wishes to make? Hmm, just one, but it's kind of stupid. Ring. Hello, this is Papyrus. Remember when I asked you about clothes? Well, the friend who wanted to know, her opinion of you was very... Murdery? But I bet you knew that already. Because you knew that, I told her what you told me you were wearing. A faded ribbon. Because I knew, of course, after such a suspicious question, you would obviously change your clothes. You're such a smart cookie. This way you're safe and I didn't lie. No betrayal anywhere. Being friends with everyone is easy. Click. Who wants to fight me? Gelatin? I'm getting lost. You hear a passing conversation. Don't say that. Come on. I promise I won't laugh. The power to take their souls. This is the power that humans feared. Is that a spider? Is that an octopus? What's up, girl? It's the boy. Hey there, notice you were here. 
I'm Onion San. Onion San, you here? You're visiting Waterfall, huh? It's great here, uh huh? You love it, huh? Yeah, me too. It's my big favorite. Even though the water's getting so shallow here, I have to sit down all the time, but hey, hey that's okay. It beats me moving it beats moving to the city and living in a crowded aquarium, like all my friends did. And the aquarium's full anyway, so even if I wanted to, I that's okay though. You hear? Undyne's gonna fix everything, you hear? I'm gonna get out of here and live in the ocean, you hear? Hey, there, that's the end of this room. I'll see you around. Have a good time. In Waterfall! Gone. What's up? Uh, Shiren hides in the corner but somehow encounters you anyway. <laughs> uh, smile. You smile. You ask to see Shiren's smile too. Oh no, that's not good. It's quieter in the corner. Aaron nods his head approvingly. Where's Aaron at? Toot! Shiren hums. Okay, we need to hum then. Hum? You hum a funky tune. Shiren follows your melody. Sire, sire, simmy, simmy. Oh, that's cool. Oh, shit! Seems much more comfortable singing along. You earned 30 gold. Aaron, I'll flex it. Where's Aaron at? The northern room hides a great treasure. This power has no counter. Indeed, a human cannot take a monster's soul. When a monster dies, its soul disappears, and an incredible power would be needed to take the soul of a living monster. Where's this treasure at? A haunting song echoes down the corridor. Won't you play along? Only the first eight are fine. There's a piano here. Play it. I can't hear what I'm supposed to play. Is it down the hall? Okay. Yeah, thank you. There is only one exception. The soul of a special species of monster called a boss monster. Boss monster soul is strong enough to persist after death only for a few moments. A human could absorb this soul, but this has never happened. And now it never will. It's a statue. The structures at its feet seem dry. Please take one. It's an umbrella. Take an umbrella, yes. You took an umbrella. What are you doing down here? Yo, you got an umbrella! Awesome! Let's go! Did you wash your face? Man, Undyne is so cool. She beats up bad guys and never loses. If I was a human, I would wet the bed every night knowing she was going to beat me up. Haha. -ha. Yo, so one time we had a school project where we had to take care of a flower. The king, we had to call him Mr. Dramer, volunteered to donate his own flower. He ended up coming to a school and teaching the class about responsibility and stuff. That got me thinking, yo, how cool would it be if Undyne came to school? She could beat up all the teachers. Um, maybe she wouldn't beat up that the teachers. She's too cool to ever hurt an innocent person.
Where are you going? Return umbrella? Do not. Yo, this ledge is way too steep. Yo, you want to see Undyne, right? Climb on my shoulders. Yo, you go on ahead. Don't worry about me. I always find a way to get through. Hope they're okay. Humans afraid of our power declared war on us. They attack suddenly and without mercy. Sound of muffled rain on the cape top fills you with determination. In the end, it could hardly be called a war. And united, the humans were too powerful and us monsters too weak. Not a single soul was taken and countless monsters were turned to dust. Holy shit! That was no fair. It got really fast. Bro. Can you stop? Easily. The melody's down the hall. We did not find the melody. Am I safe? There's nothing down here. Am I stuck here? Oh shit. Oh, no. Did I go the wrong way? It sounds like it came from over here. Oh, you've fallen down, haven't you? Are you okay? Here, get up. Epics, huh? That's a nice name. My name is... Coriel? Piles of garbage. There are quite a few brands you recognize. Just garbage. Okay. Onward! Piles of garbage. There are quite a few brands you recognize. Just garbage. The waterfall here seems to flow from the ceiling of the cavern. Occasionally, a piece of trash will flow through and fall into the bottomless abyss below. Viewing this endless cycle of worthless garbage fills you with determination. Trash zone. Is that a bike? 
You rest your hand on the rusted bike. Its horn wheezes a honk of despair. <laughs> it's garbage. A beat up desktop computer. The inside is empty. Garbage. It's a cooler. It has no brand and shows no signs of wear. Inside are a couple of freeze dried space food bars. Take one? Yeah, you got the astronaut food. It's a DVD case for an anime. Desperate claw marks cover the edges. A trash heap. Seems like a regular training dummy. Do you want to beat it up? No. You stare into each other's eyes for a moment. Uh-oh. Gonna come alive? Oh my god. Plot twist. Aha! Too intimidated to fight me, huh? I'm a ghost that lives inside a dummy. My cousin used to live inside a dummy too. Until you destroyed their home. <laughs> yes, we did. You, us ghosts spent our whole lives looking for a proper vessel. Slowly, slowly, we grow closer to our new bodies. Until one day, we too may become corporal beings. Being is able to laugh, love, and dance like any other. But you, my cousin's future, you took it all away. Despicable, despicable, despicable. Human, I hope you're not too attached to your body. Because your soul is about to get evicted. Mad dummy blocks the way. Talk. You talk to the dummy. It doesn't seem much for conversation. No one is happy with this. Foolish, foolish, foolish. He just hit himself? You dummies. Watch where you're aiming your magic attacks. Hey, you. Forget in uh, said anything about magic. He's looking nervous. Talk. He talked to the dummy. Doesn't seem much for conversation. No one is happy with this. I'll defeat you and take your soul. Why do you want my soul? Mad Dummy is bossing around its bullets. Talk. Mad Dummy is doing an armless ska dance. Because <laughs> there are ghosts, physical attacks will fail. Good thing I didn't try to fucking whoop his ass. That's no fair. It smells like a clothing store. Wrong button. Then everything I want will be mine. Mad Dummy's getting caught all over the dialogue box. Why did I- I didn't want to do that. Yeah, I guess that'll avenge my cousin. You talk to the dummy. Doesn't seem much for conversation. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Can you fucking move around? Uh, that works, I guess. That dummy's getting caught all over the dialogue box. Feeble, feeble, feeble. Shit. Why are you over there? Feudal. Got him. He's getting cotton. Doesn't want to talk. Hey guys, 
Dummies, dummies, dummies. Remember how I said not to shoot at me? Well, failures. You're all fired. You've all been replaced. Ha 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 ha. Now you'll see my true power. Relying on people that aren't garbage. Mechanic whirls fill the room. You talk to the dummy. Doesn't want to talk. Dummy bots, magic missile. I want to cast magic missile. Oh my god. Smells like a clothing store. Who's getting hit? It's hopping around, hopping mad. You talk to the dummy, doesn't want to conversate. That's no fair. Bro! No way, these guys are even worse than other guys. Who cares, who cares, who cares? I don't need friends. I've got knives. Shit, bro. I'm out of knives. But it doesn't matter. You can't hurt me, I can't hurt you. You'll be stuck fighting me forever. Forever, forever. Ah! Holy shit. What the heck is this? Erg, acid rain. Oh, forget it. I'm out of here. <laughs> Almost died. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, I think I saved this person earlier. Sorry, I interrupted you. Didn't I? Is this the ghost that was sleeping? As soon as I came over, your friend immediately left. Oh, no. You guys looked like you were having fun. Oh, no. I just wanted to say hi. Oh, no. Well, I'm going to head home now. Oh, um, feel free to come with if you want, but no pressure. I understand if you're busy, it's fine. No worries. Just thought I'd offer. There was a save? Let me save real quick. Okay. Follow the ghost. There's nowhere else to go, I mean, you know? Oh, there's a save right there. I didn't know if there would be or not. Hey, my house is up here. In case you want to see, or in case you don't. You feel a calming tranquility. You're filled with determination. Quiet area. Let's go check out this ghost house. Oh, you really came? Sorry, I wasn't expecting that. It's not much, but make yourself at home. Spider donuts. This CD is labeled Spook Tunes. Play it. You play the CD. This CD is labeled Spook Wave. Play it. <laughs> this CD is labeled Gula Day Music. It's a spider web. There's a flyer for a bake sale. Oh, this one. Once you learn the lyrics, it's hard not to sing along. Ooh, 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 ooh. The computer's internet browser is open to a music sharing forum. That's my TV. There's a show I like to watch on it, or sometimes. Oh, are you hungry? I can get you something to eat. This is a ghost sandwich. Do you want to try it? Yeah. You attempt to bite into the ghost sandwich. You phase right through it. Oh, never mind. After a great meal, I like to lie on the ground and feel like garbage. The family tradition. Do you want to join me? Sure. Same. <laughs> okay, follow my lead. 
Yes! Here we go! You'll lie down as long as you don't move. So, only move around when you want to get up. I guess. Just be garbage. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> is that galaxy upon galaxies? This is just how it be? It's how small we are. Very calming. Naps to Bluke too good? <laughs> I wonder if there's any a achievements attached to this. You know, there's a there's some game that has like an achievement. I think it might be Stanley Parable. It's like, don't play this game for five years or something. <laughs> so you buy it and you play it and you can't play it for five years Stanley Parable yeah <laughs> thanks for the chill sesh dude well that was nice thank you oh, I agree you still need to recover after all that lying down okay It's locked. Snail. For some reason, you can't help but wonder what it tastes like. Snail, snail. A long journey extends in front of you. Snail, snail. Reach far and stretch beyond the horizons. Snail, snail. So a snail is the sand biole. I've been long overdue for a second house. This is Snail is counting dollar bills. Awkward, I'm working right now. I mean, welcome to Bluke Family Snail Farm. Yeah, I'm the only employee. Place used to get a lot of business, but our main customer disappeared. Now it's just some hairy guy that shows up once a month. I think we killed the customer. North, Blue Gakers, Hotland, Timmy Village? I mean, Timmy Village? Timmy? They look like there's a racetrack up here. Do you want to play a game? It's called Thunder Snail. Timmy? Snails will race, and if the yellow snail wins, you win. It's 10G to play. Okay. Press Z repeatedly to encourage your snail. Ready? That didn't work! It's not! It's doing the opposite! He went in his shell! He turned on fire! <laughs> You're scaring the snail. <laughs> Shit. Race end. Hydro Thunder, please. Oh, looks like you encouraged the snail too much. <laughs> All that pressure to succeed. Really got to her. Oh. Do you want to play a game? Thunder Snail. Gotta take a shower.
I think I just lost 20 G's for no reason. You both tried your best, but the snail looks discouraged. Her best wasn't good enough. Oh. Stole my fucking money. Whoa there, I've got some neat junk for sale. Crab apple. It's like a crab. Heals 10 HP. Speed up the battle. Cloudy glasses. Negative 5 defense. Oh, it's different. It's different. Because I have 10 defense, so it's negative 5. Torn no notebook. Invincible longer. What do you mean by invincible? Hmm. More iframes? Oh, gotcha. Talk. I've been around a long time, maybe too long. Studying history sure is easy when you've lived through so much of it yourself. Wahaha. Hey, uh, you don't know what this is. Looks that. What are they teaching you kids in school nowadays? That's the Delta Rune, the emblem of our kingdom. The kingdom of monsters. Great name, huh? As I always say, old King Fluffy Buns can't name for beans. I didn't know his name was Fluffy Beans. Fluff, fluffy Buns. He's a friendly, happy-go-lucky kind of guy. You keep walking around long enough, probably meet him. Loves to walk around and talk to people. Uh, what do you call Drimmer Fluffy Buns? Oh, that's a great story. I don't remember it. But if you come back much later, I'm sure I'll have remembered it by then. New. That emblem actually predates written history. The original meaning has been lost to time. All we know is that the triangle symbolizes us monsters below, and the winged circle also above symbolizes something else. Most people say it's the angel from the prophecy. The prophecy. Oh yeah, the prophecy. Legend has it, an angel who has seen the surface will descend from above and bring us freedom. Lately, the people have been taking a bleaker outlook, calling that winged circle the angel of death. Harboring of a harbinger of destruction. Harbinger of destruction, waiting to free us from this mortal realm. In my opinion, when I see that little circle, I just think it looks neat. Undyne, yeah, she's a local hero around here. Through grit and determination alone, she fought her way to the top of the Royal Guard. Actually, she just came through here asking about someone who looked just like you. I'd watch your back, kid, and buy some items. It might just save your hide. Ah, I'm not trying to get- I'm trying to get rid of junk, not get more of it. Though, I've heard if you sell an outfit... For the last time, I'm not taking it. I- what did I miss what they said? What'd they say? So we're not really attacking, maybe we should buy this notebook. I can drop stuff too, right? Hurt, beaten, and fearful for our lives, we surrender to the humans. Seven of their greatest magicians sealed us underground with a magic spell. Anything can enter through the seal, but only beings with a powerful soul can leave. There is only one way to reverse this spell. A huge power equivalent to seven human souls attacks the barrier. It will be destroyed. That this cursed place has no entrances or exits. There is no way a human could come here. We will remain trapped down here forever. Kitty cat! Timmy appears here to defeat you! Uh, feed Timmy flakes. Timmy only wants the Timmy flakes. No, so hungry dies. What the fuck? You got some long legs, girl. Timmy accidentally misspells her own name. <laughs> uh, seven soul megaton bomb. Talk. 
You say hello to Timmy. Oh, I'm Timmy. Her face wiggles outside of her body if you AFK. Timmy's trying to glomp you. It's a moving. <laughs> How far will it go? This keeps going? <laughs> Off screen? <laughs> How long does it take though? Does it go back if I do something? Resets when you attack. Three hours later. We're having a dance party. She's bugging out, man. Nice. You're missing out. Oh, I wonder why Cade's name... Cade's name was sticking out farther than Strawberry's name. Maybe the Twitch Prime? Doing ultra fun stuff? Like what? Stick. No, you have the Prime. That's weird. Huh. The little things. Alright. Oh, she's ready to go. She is trying to glomp you. You won! Ah, oh, I didn't earn anything. I think this is where I saw Soda popping when he was playing it. Never went to college. Timmy has no monies? Aw. Flirt! Wiggle your hips. Suddenly. Good. Whoa! We haven't seen that before. Mold bug gyrates reservedly. Hug. You hug mold bug. Gross slime covers you. Your speed is decreased. Oh shit. Slime sounds. Mold bug gyrates reservedly. Lie down. You lie down. Mold bug lies down too. Li mold bug understands life now. <laughs> mold small, mold big. Gotcha. Slime sounds. Mold bug gyrates. Unhug. You don't hug, mold bug. It appreciates your respect of its boundaries. <laughs> That's no fair. Moldbug seems comfortable with your presence. 20 gold. Wait a minute. Whoa. 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 What? <laughs> Hoi, welcome to Team Village. You feel something. You're filled with determination. <laughs> yeah. Hi, I'm Bob. Hoi, I'm Timmy. Don't forget my friend. Hoi, I'm Timmy, and this is my friend Timmy. Hoi, I'm Timmy, and this is my friend Timmy. Rich history of Tim. This music's jamming. Ah, you should check out Team Shop. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Should check Tim Shop. Wah, 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 wah. Humans, such a cute 
Tim, watch egg. Hey, hey, it will hatch. T proud parent. T statue of Tim, very famous, very. <laughs> Feeling of being watched. Timmy, Timmy, and Bob. <laughs> Tim heard a human allergic to Tim. Da okay, Tim understand. Tim also allergic to Tim. <laughs> You're allergic to yourself. He's always oh, getting. He's breaking out. <laughs> Sorry, Tim. Mushroom dance. Mushroom dance. Whatever could it mean? It means you've lived a life of sin. Boys, <laughs> it's hard boiled. The egg's not gonna fucking hatch. <laughs> uh, broke out in hoives. You okay? Oh. Is this the shop? Item shop. Oh, welcome to the Tim shop. Say hello. Ha! I'm Timmy. Ha, I'm Timmy. Ha, I'm Timmy. <laughs> oh, I thought it was gonna be. Oh, I'm Timmy. Us Tims have a deep history. <clears throat> okay. <coughs> Go to the shop. Okay. Sell. I can sell stuff. This why is the bandage 150, bro? I feel like I'm taking advantage of the Tim. This is the only shop you can sell? Tim Flake. Heals 2 HP. Discount food of Tim. Tim Flake, expensive. <laughs> it's the same thing, but expensive. Tim pay for college. Aw. College Tim pursue higher education. You don't have muns. You don't have the muns. <laughs> Should I sell my stick? Whoa! If I sell this in the bandage, then I can- Oh, and the ribbon? I can get halfway to her college. Is there a reason to keep that? Wow! You got a bandages. I gotta have that bandages that I gotta pay for college. Huh. Tim always wanted bandages. Tim buy Tim buy bandage for 151? Thanks, purchase. Stick! Tim buy stick, 150? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks, purchase. How much I got? 547. We're halfway there. Aww. Seventy, ninety-five, one ten. We don't have enough. We don't have enough. We'll come back when we have more money. Can I return for college? You feel something. Uh, I don't know if I was supposed to keep the stick and the, the bandage, but they're gone. I like secrets. Higher education. Hello? 
Oh, it's Aaron and Washua. Clean. You ask Washua to clean you. It hops around excitedly. Bro, I can't clean and dodge at the same time. It smells like an underwater barnyard. No need for swimming suit. Aaron is sweating bullets. Flex. We gotta flex three times? I might just kill him. Flexing contest. Aaron's ready for your next flex. Aaron's dead. Miss! Education, hobby, talent. Baldur's Gate looks different. He's sweating. Haha. -ha. Get it? Aaron's ready for your next flex. You flex harder! Nice. I won't lose, though. Ow. Aaron is ready for your next flex. You flex. Aaron flex very hard. Flexes himself out of the room. You won. 55? Let's go. No more fights. Without candles or magic to guide them home, the monsters use crystals to, navi to navigate. Excuse me. Uh oh. Mold bug. Oh my god. Mold bug gyrates reservedly. Leave me alone. Miss. Mold bug understands life now. Unhug. Appreciates your respect to boundaries. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I was gonna eat a, an item, but I could probably wait, right? It'd be a save up here, right? Behind you. Ah, oh, shit. Undyne. Seven. Seven human souls. With the power of seven human souls, our king, King Asgord Ramir. He's got so many names. Funny buns. Fl fluffy buns. Will become a god. With that power, Asgord can finally shatter the barrier. He will finally take the surface back from humanity and give them back the suffering and pain that we have endured. Understand, human? This is your only chance at redemption. Uh, hello, super coin dude. Welcome. Give up your soul, or I'll tear it from your body. Hmm. Genocide? No, no genocide. Undyne, I'll help you fight! Yo! You did it! Undyne is right in front of you! <laughs> You've got front row seats to her fight! No more route? Yeah, sure. Uh, I've I think I've only killed Toriel. R.I.P.
I didn't know I could spare her. Hog, you found Undyne? <laughs> Wait. Who's she fighting? Hey! You aren't gonna tell my parents about this, are you? You aren't gonna tell my parents about <laughs> Alright. What was the point of coming down here? Oh, okay. You hear a passing conversation. Hmm. If I say my wish, you promise you won't laugh at me? Of course I won't laugh. Someday, I'd like to climb this mountain we're all buried under. Standing under the sky, looking at the world all around. That's my wish. You hear laughter. Hey, you said you wouldn't laugh at it. Sorry, it's just funny. That's my wish, too. Aw. However, there is a prophecy. The angel, the one who has seen the surface, they will return and the underground will go empty. Okay. Thought that was a walkway. Yo! <laughs> you play this a lot, Super Coin Dude? Why, why isn't my eye pink anymore? Yo, I know I'm not supposed to be here, but I want to ask you something. Man, I have never had to ask anyone this before. Um, yo, you're a human, right? Haha, -ha, man, I knew it. Well, I know it now. I mean, Undyne told me. Um, stay away from that human. <laughs> you never played it before? You're a fan of it, though? Okay. This is my first time playing it. So, like, um, I guess that makes us enemies or something. But I kind of stink at that. Haha. <laughs> yo, say something mean so I can hate you. Please? No. Yo, what? So I have to do it? Here goes nothing. Yo, I, I hate your guts. Man, I, I'm such a turd. I'm gonna go home now. Oh no. Yo, wait, help! I tripped! Yo, yo, dude, if if you want to hurt my friend, you're going to have to get through me first. Thank you, turd. She's gone. Yo, you really saved my skin. Guess being enemies was just a nice thought. Haha. <laughs> we'll just have to be friends instead. Man, I should really go home. <laughs> I bet my parents are worried sick about me. Later, dude. Onward. Undyne reminds me of um, the brother from Full Metal Alchemist. Not the personality, but the like the body. Seven. Seven human souls and King Asgore will become a god. Six. That's how many we have collected thus far. Understand? Through, through your seventh and final soul, this world will be transformed. First, however, as it is customary for those who make it this far, I shall tell you the tragic tale of our people. It all started long ago. No, you know what? Screw it! Why should I tell you that story when you're about to die? You took off a mask? You're standing in the way of everybody's hopes and dreams. Alfie's history books made me think humans were compassionate, but you, you're just a remorseless criminal. You wander through the caverns, attacking anyone in your path. Self-defense, please. You didn't kill them because you had to. You killed them because it was easy for you. I didn't kill anyone, did I? Because it was fun for you. You think it was fun when I found out? I think I killed an ice hop a while back. A teenage comedian who fell in with the wrong crowd was dead because of the whims of a single human. But your time's up, villain. You mean along the whole way? 
or just in the caves. You won't hurt anyone else. A knight in shining armor has appeared, and all the pain you inflicted on you, on the fallen, excuse me, every hope, every dream you've turned to dust. It's gonna send right back through his spear. Her spear, excuse me. I'll show you how determined monsters truly are. Come on, step forward and let's end this. Okay. Basically a cop. That's it. Then, no more running away. Here I come. Whoa! On guard. Undyne attacks. Check. Undyne, 50, defense 20. The heroine that never gives up. As long as you're green, you can't escape. Unless you learn to face danger head on. You won't last a second against me. What the fuck? Smells like sushi. Plead. You told Undyne you didn't want to fight, but nothing happened. Not bad. How about this? For years, we dreamed of a happy ending. This is like playing a uh, fucking tapper. Beer tapper. Undyne Flash is a menacing smile. Now sunlight is just within our reach. Undyne points heroically towards the sky. I won't let you snatch it. Undyne draws her finger across her neck. Challenge. You tell Undyne her attacks are too easy. Oh shit. <laughs> oh fuck. Was that blue? I'm not green anymore. I'm green again. Fuck. I can't leave if I'm green. Oh god, what the fuck? Okay. Are those- these clothes- these claws natural? You recovered 15 HP. The fake out? That was rude, man. Stop being so damn resilient. Fuck you. I got better to do. <laughs> what? God damn it. <laughs> Undyne suplex is a huge boulder just because she can. <laughs> You're supposed, supposed to run from her? Okay. It's alright. Uh, wrong button. I see now what she meant by that. <laughs> okay. That was lucky.
fuck? That's the wrong button. What is with the what is with this analog stick, man? The bullets get unfair. Okay. Jesus Christ. Unicycle. <laughs> Turn me red, bitch! It's like DDR. This is fine. Escaped! Get the fuck away from me! Stop running away! Oh, great. Oh, wait, I'm still red. Welcome to... Come back here, you little punk. Got an Intel shirt for your 15th birthday? Awesome. Ring? Who's call? Hey, what's up? I was just thinking... Welcome to Hotlands. You, me, and Undyne should all hang out sometime. <laughs> what? Perf perfect timing. Perfect timing. I think you would make great pals. Let's meet up at her house later. Is that the house that's locked next to Papyrus's? Click. You'll never catch me. He's sleeping! Water cooler. Armor, so hot, but I can't give up. It's a water cooler. Take a cup of water? Yeah. Take a cup of water. Give Undyne the water? Yes. Undyne has been spared? She has. Well, she doesn't chase me anymore. Decisions, decisions. It's my water now. Water evaporated from the heat. <laughs> you know a little about this game since you have, but you haven't played it. That's cool. It's it's interesting. Um, I think it's a, it's pretty. Um, it's made an impression on you enough to get to, to want a t-shirt for it, which is cool. The cup evaporated too. So it must it must have some meaning to you. Seeing such a strange laboratory in a place like this, you're filled with determination. GG's. Tra la la, I'm the river man. I am the, or am I the river woman? It doesn't really matter. I love to ride in my boat. Would you care to join me? Uh, sure. Where will we go today? Oh, never mind. Can I come back? Fast travel. If it's hot or cold, you can count on me. Uh, where was this at? Did we not find this earlier? Come again sometime. Tra la la. Oh! Did I not go down this way earlier? I'm trying to get rid of my junk, not get more of it. Though, I've heard if you want to sell stuff, the Timmy Village is your best bet. Nice. Where is it? I don't remember. That's what, that's the dialogue we missed earlier. 
Be careful out there, kid. Tra -la -la. Care for a ride? Yes. Let's go to the hot lands. Hot land. And we're off. Oh, that's the wrong way. <laughs> Whoa. Does it have more than two animations? Ah, Timmy Village. The room before the darkening lantern room. You're, I said hot land. Cool boat. Is that like Nyan Cat? You notice how some songs relate to other songs from the game? Come again sometime. You know, Kate, I don't... Where was that melody at? We never found the melody. Laz. Uh, hold on. What are these guys doing? Ellipses. Sorry. Undyne, like, told us there was totally a human in the area. So, like, us royal guards are blocking off the elevators for now. Naga, even if the elevators aren't working anyway, we'll do our best, Miss Undyne. Uh, you had to give an umbrella to the statue with the rain cloud? Aw. Think you can go back? Hmm. Hmm. But I gave away my umbrella. As long as Undyne stopped chasing us. Why don't you sing with me? Tra la la la. There you go. Happy? Oh, we have to find the umbrella room, though. Thank you. This way? Favorite boss from this game is beyond the point where you currently. Okay. I'm sure I'll get there eventually. I know the game. I and I think the website said it would take about 10 hours. 10 hours to beat it. Give or take, it's the average. At least we uh, we can get to the Timmy village. We can come back to pay for college later. Uh, I'm not racing snails again. I asked Undyne if we could all hang, but she said something weird. She said she won't hang out with a murderer. <laughs> but, uh, I don't remember murdering anyone. Ah! Though I am a pretty brutal kind of guy. Then she said something about wanting to fight some kind of bad guy, but she seems very weak from something. She stepped out and collapsed in the doorway. So I'm just waiting here in case she needs me. Since she hates being waited on hand and foot. I think we'll have to hang out later. What? 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 It's a living... A duck? Little bird wants to carry you across. Yes. Duck pog? Determination. This is very inspirational music. I love it. We made it. Do I gotta pay you? Thank you. Holy shit. Like you. Thank you like Onion song. What's a star? Oh, yes. I touch it? Kill it. Wait, our uh we're not we our eye isn't pink anymore. Uh thank you for the follow, Super Coin Dude 75. Thank you. I am thinking about getting in the telescope business. Ah! Uh, where's the water at? Did I go the wrong way? Is this before or after the waterfall? Yeah, I don't remember either. Oh, it's this guy again. You're back! Did you hear? You're back! I'll tell you a big secret. Starting a band, you hear? It's called the Red Hot Chibi Peppers. <laughs> I thought of name. I don't play instruments or sing. Well, do you think we'll be popular? Yeah. Me too. 
Is there like an evil route where you're just mean to everybody? Other than genocide? Okay. Water should be up ahead, I think. Okay. Find me an umbrella. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Put the umbrella on the statue? Yeah. Inside the statue, a music box begins to play. Oh, there we go. Circle up right, circle down, down right. Let's go. What is this? The legendary artifact. Will you take it? You're carrying two. Right, we can come back. We can come back. Come back. What? Dogs? <laughs> what? Annoying dog. Dog. A little white dog. It's fast asleep. You put the dog on the ground. <laughs> He's gonna steal the ball. The dog absorbs the artifact. There's no better outcome. What if I, what if I were to come back uh, on my save? Can I drop the dog in a different area? You make me sad. Oh, did you hear? I got nothing else to talk about. <laughs> You can adjust it a little, but like if you use the dog. But I can never get the ball. It's literally just a joke room. Okay. Can I go across this? Well, that was a fun little joke, a little uh, Easter egg thing. I was like, dogs? What are you talking about, dogs? Oh, also, I think um, the dog only showed up when I was in the room, so I don't think I could put it down in another room because I looked outside, right? Didn't I look outside and I didn't have anything? I didn't. I only had like five items, and then the dog itself is an Easter egg. Dog residue. What the fuck? Supposedly the dog represents Toby the Dev, so like it could be a joke. Never finished the content. Oh, okay. Shiny trail left behind by dog. Yep. Oh, I'm, I'm using the torn. I'm using the notebook. All right. I was like, why? Do I, why don't I see the notebook here? Dog residue is what I was off after every play session with Mabel. Darn. 
Oh, can you carry me across? Thank you. Oh, dog residue is what you wash off after every play session with Mabel. Oh, that's cute. My dog doesn't usually, um... She doesn't really lick me. Doesn't slobber. She does drool when we're eating. Lots and lots of drool. Duck pog! Is it a duck or is it a bird? It said bird, but it looks like a duck, so... I mean, and, and ducks are birds. So much licking. <laughs> All right, well, we found the legendary artifacts um, down, down here. Was it in here? Hold on. Down here. Um, I think we might. Uh, let's go back to Hotland. I think that's going to do it for Undertale tonight because we're about two hours in. Uh, trying to keep the, the VODs down to two hours, as you guys know. Uh, so I'll probably just save here, and we'll pick up here tomorrow for more. Um, Somewhere it's Thursday, so be careful. It is Thursday. That's Is that in the code? Is that... Interesting. Another day of surviving, guys. Yo, you're spooked? Thursday somewhere. Come again sometime. Sha la la la. Uh, I am gonna play the something else. Uh, let me take a quick break. I'm gonna play something else. I don't know what. Uh, but uh, we're gonna play a little bit longer for like another hour, uh, I think, and then maybe a gungeon run or something. Uh, I'm gonna take a quick break, guys. I will be right back. Give me a second. Thank you for watching uh, part two of Undertale. We're getting we're getting our way through it. We just finished, uh, we got past Undyne, and we saved her with some water. So, uh, thank you guys. Uh, appreciate you, and I will be right back. Thank you.